Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I try to focus on love but we'll see. There's been a lot of hurdles lately and I know that you guys are well aware of that so we're just going to see whatever comes up. This reading is for somebody, not for everybody, but it is for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Mmm! The Knight of Cups! Great. So somebody could be coming in, making you an offer of love. Or you could be receiving some... Um, Emotional support for somebody or your relationship. You could be starting a new relationship or your relationship could be getting better. Something like that. There could be a love interest either way. I mean, it looks like somebody could be headed in your direction. Swim in your way. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. You, you have somebody headed in your direction or you're headed in theirs. Okay, there's a, there's, there's a, this is exciting, put it that way. It's exciting and you're probably feeling really good about it, whatever it is. It's a good, good feeling at this point. Or somebody feels really good about you. Somebody is probably attracted to you or vice versa. There's definitely, or it's probably a mutual attraction. It probably is. Interesting. Ooh, death. Death brings new beginnings, right? Endings bring new beginnings. So you guys have went through some sort of transformation or you're going through a transformation right now. You guys have a new beginning here. That, that, this is something new coming to you. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. You know, this is a man and people can try to change it up all they want. I'm not going to explain it. But it looks like we have a man that is coming right into his power. All right? He's finding his strength, his courage, and his confidence. His self-esteem is coming back. Or it is, it's, it's at high. Feeling very good. Very um, well put together. It looks like whatever is going on here, we, it looks like there's a, there's a lot of confidence and strength and... There's a strong focus to succeed. And there's going to be success. There is going to be success. Oh my goodness. I knew it was going to be good for you guys. I knew it was going to be. I did, days ago, I knew that it was going to be good for you guys. I did. I had thought about, you know, I always try to do my readings. You know, I try to figure out what order I'm going to do them in. I knew that you guys' was going to be good. And it absolutely is. You guys have went through a period of growth and now you are receiving some sort of recognition of some sort. It looks like you are shining pretty bright during this time and you are probably illuminated even. You know, it just feels like you're glowing and you should be. You should be. Your hard work has paid off. That's for darn sure. You just get the wet. There's not even any reversals yet. I mean, I knew it was going to be good. We have, a, we have a lot of, like I said, there's going to be success. You know, I don't even really need the cards to tell you what I knew was coming a couple of days ago. I don't know where this came from. I was in my car and it came up that you guys are um, going to have a very good week and that you're, you're becoming more successful and money is going to start coming in and, and love. You're going to get it all. It's like you're going to you're going to you're going to have it all. And it's because you guys have persevered through some sort of storm and therefore victory and success is coming. Major victory. I'm, I mean, I can't even it's because you guys have asserted yourself and you have made the decision to react appropriately and not let anybody take you down. 
You know, it's you took your power in your own hands. Because you have done that, you have a major new beginning here that is going to lead to extreme happiness, success, and victory. And it's because you guys asserted your self in a situation. You stuck up for yourself. You persevered. You didn't give give up and you took the you took charge. You took the lead here. I knew that was what it was, too. Despite what other people had to say, right? You were probably dealing with some people that were bringing you down and trying to bring you down. But it looks to me like you didn't let that happen. You weren't going to let them keep you in a state of faithlessness, right? And your heart, like I said, your hard work has paid off. It's like you've been willing to learn new things. You've been trying to do things differently. And because that you have been so adamant on bringing success to your life, it's, it's, it's like you're going to, people are recognizing you. They're recognizing the hard work that you have put in to succeed. And you are definitely being appreciated. You're being more respected today than you were respected a month ago. Put it that way. You are. And it's because you defended yourself. We already talked about this. You were dealing with a person that was bringing you down and putting you down and kind of pushing your buttons all the time. Push, 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 poke, 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 that kind of thing. And it looks like because you stuck up for yourself and you defended yourself, now you've gained some respect. Congratulations. I knew this was going to be a good week for you. So, it look, I mean, if you, you got to look at this. Because you have taken the power back in your own hands, you are going to receive a lot of happiness this week. This is a good, good, good week. This week is probably going to bring messages of love or emotional support or this could even be flirty behavior there could be a lot of flirting going on with people could you could even be flirting with two people or this is just mutual attraction either way there's there's growth and look at this he's just lifting it right up he's lifting up this ball of light or whatever and it's it's just beautiful it really is so you guys have a new beginning here You've went through a transformation. You've released some sort of... You've changed your perspective, okay? This is the release, and this is a change of perspective. So you've released what you, you've changed. You've went through... And this is the transformation, okay? You've made some sort of major change in your life that is going to help you in the next phase okay and you're about and you are starting a new phase right you're starting a new life right now you're at the beginning of this new project new new chapter new whatever it is you're at the very beginning and it looks like you are going to be extremely successful appreciated respected um, you're going to learn some new skills and it looks like you're willing to learn some new skills and this has all happened because you faced adversity head on. So congratulations. Now, I know everybody wants to know about love. And it really looks like somebody's been interested in you. Or you've been interested. And in, I think it's mutual. Okay. There's been a mutual interest here. And maybe it's been kept a secret for quite some time. Or you weren't able to express yourself. Or you've been keeping it in. Or whatever the case is. But I think that at this point, you know, the truth could come out. Somebody could say, hey, they're attracted or they may flirt with you or do something like that. And whatever is happening, it looks as... And you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is probably you, but it could be uh, another Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Here we have Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, this is the, the fixed signs. Uh, Scorpio, again, uh, Sagittarius, Leo... Aries, I think this is you if you're a man. If you are a man, you have regained your focus and you are back in charge. And that goes for a woman as well. It really does. Because of this right here. If you're a woman, you've taken back your power. So it, it really works both ways. It looks like you are wide awake. It does. Even this says lack of awake. She's awake. She's awake. I think that you have woken up from some bad nightmare and now it's about to you're about to receive some sort of reward for 
persevering through this storm, okay? So let's get some more cards. Oh, I think, I mean, the very first card is the Knight of Cups. This is about love. It is. You're going to receive an offer from somebody, and it is a good one. Somebody wants to start something with you. They do. They want, they want to give you something, or you're going to be receiving something. It could be money, or this could be just a solid offer that leads to a lot of happiness, okay? Because the sun is underneath it. Whatever is happening, you are going to receive something that makes you ex extremely happy, okay? So be prepared. Your hard work has paid off. There's no doubt about it. And you, like I said, the storm you've been going through is over. You avoided a much bigger catastrophe by taking the power in your own hands and stepping out of perhaps even your comfort zone, you know? You've avoided something. You've avoided a disaster. Congratulations. You may feel, you may feel like you haven't, your wishes aren't still being fulfilled or somebody may have told you that you'll never be able to do anything or that you'll never be abundant. Somebody may have said those words to you because you're dealing with somebody who's very critical or you have in the past and they may have tried to dash your dreams. But I think that you saw that, saw right through that person. Okay, I do, I do. I think that you, you know, at first they may have brought you down and it may have worked for a minute but I don't think it worked for very long. Like I said, you may have, I think I may have said it in a different reading. I think that you are going to receive some help from somebody. Okay? Could be a boss, could be a father, could be another person. But I think it's a, I think it's a man. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't have to be a man in this instance. I think that whatever is happening, you are receiving some sort of stable, solid offer that you deserve. Um... You could, if you're a woman, you could have a choice between two men, okay? You could. You could have a choice between an earth sign and a fire sign, just saying. Um, and they're both really good choices here. They are. They're both really good choices. They're both really focused. Um, one of them is, well, they're both very, very goal-oriented, so good luck on that choice. I mean, I don't know which one to tell you to choose. They're both really good people. You have a choice between two really good people here. Anyway, um, but you may be really focused on your coin at this time. Maybe you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to focus. I see that you have really a huge focus right now. You are really focused on your success, your financial success, your stability, your security, your ranking in life. It's like you're wanting to move up the ladder and you're doing whatever it takes to move up that ladder. That's what I see the focus is. And because you're doing whatever it takes to move up that ladder, everybody else is noticing it and you're attracting people. I think that you have, and this is a very vibrant energy. Your, vibra you've, your vibration has raised. You've went through some sort of transformation. You have a major new beginning here. And it's like there's no more confusion. There's no more illusion. You are seeing things absolutely clearly. There's no doubt. And, you know, there you may have felt like you've been robbed in the past. And be careful because you still got somebody that doesn't want to see you succeed. You still have a jealous person around you that doesn't want you to climb that ladder. So be really, really, really careful. And I think that you out have somebody on your side as well. You, you have somebody that's jealous. And then, you, again, you have somebody that's on your side that wants you to succeed. So really pay attention to the people in your life. If you've got somebody that wants to keep you down, maybe you need to remove yourself, from, move, remove that person from your life, okay? Because you're, you're going down a new road. You're go, headed towards victory and success, and you don't need that drama. You don't need that drama. And you got somebody that has a lot of drama, that brings a lot of drama to the table in your life. Could be, could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very dramatic. Misery loves company, you know, and they see that you're succeeding. Be careful. Be careful. Pay attention to the red flags. And I don't need that card because you're succeeding and somebody may not like it. So beware. 
follow your intuition at this time. Remember, I said that you guys are glowing. You are probably, your psychic abilities are glowing as well. They're growing and glowing, okay? So really, really pay attention. It's like you guys are going through some sort of ascension process, really. You are, you are wide awake. Do not, and there's been a lot of self-doubt in the past. And you know why there's been self-doubt? Because you've been dealing with people that bring drama to the table and you allow it. Don't let those people that are full of it in your life. Because they will hold you back from success. Anyway, your intuition has the answers. Listen to your intuitions. Pay attention to the signs. You've got somebody here who is secretive and sneaky and doesn't want you to be successful. They don't want you to get the golden opportunity that you deserve because they're jealous. So that's the adversity I was talking about. And you've been dealing with it for quite some time. You've done well so far. Do not let them bring you down. Misery loves company. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're you they <laughs> you're dealing with an individual who is selfish, smothering, and greedy. Be careful. You, this could be a mother, it could be a sister, it could be, it's a woman, it's a woman, this is a woman. Uh, there's a woman here that doesn't want you to grow, and that's sad. They don't want you to get what you deserve, the blessings that you deserve. They don't. Okay? So, I mean, this person is very sneaky. Like I said, I kept saying it, misery loves company. You're dealing with a miserable individual who has hidden agendas and for some reason doesn't want you to succeed. It's like a competitive nature. You old bastard. Excuse my language. This is the card of competition. I just, I, I said it and then the card came out. I had no choice but to swear. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, it is. You've got a competitor. <laughs> you do. This is, this card means competition. I said it and, oh, jeez. So anyway, yes, you are, you have some competition. Rise above it. Rise above it. Rise above the competition. You have support. You have other people on your side. Okay? You do. Do not let this competition bring you down. That's part of the journey is finding the strength to overcome the adversity. Okay? Yeah. There's some tension with somebody and it's a test. It's a test of your strength. It's a test of your willpower. It's a test of your ability to remain focused and concentrated and to get to the top of that ladder. You're going to have to face it. <laughs> they want to bring your confidence down. And it's worked in the past. Somebody has brought your confidence down in the past and you let them. You did. Do not let it happen again. Yeah, like I said, you were dealing with somebody with hidden agendas. Master manipulator, liar, trickster, cunning, crafty, sneaky. This ain't this person. This person gets a thrill out of bringing people down. You be the magician. Do not, you're, like I, I said, the storm is over. You're gone through a transformation. Well, it looks like this person is still around. You're succeeding. You take your power. Keep your power. Do not turn your power over to this person who can take it just like that. Mm. Whew. 
Um, what's this? The Three of Swords? This is hurt. It hurts when you got that sword of power in your hand and you have to cut out people that are that cause so much drama in your life. When you have to use that sword to cut people out that are holding you back, that are restricting you from success, that are causing you pain. This is the Two of Swords. This is the Ace of Swords. It equals the Three of Swords. Okay, the Two of Swords is a painful, stressful decision to cut somebody out. And the sword is in your hand. You have to cut out this person who is uh, deceiving, lying, I'm trying not to swear, but I'm having a really... I already said the word a second ago. Okay? So, it begins with B. Anyway, you're dealing with somebody who needs to be removed from your circle. And you have to do it to gain that ultimate success. And you know who it is. You know who it is. And I have to tell you that you have support. You have support. And once you use that sword, you are your vibration is even going to raise more and more and more. The person that you need to cut out, they're a psychic vampire. They're stealing your energy. They've stolen it for a long time already. Why do you let them? Why do you let them? I think that you've decided, at, it looks like to me, that you are going to release You've found your confidence more than, more now than ever. It's like your confidence has risen. Don't give your power back to this manipulator. You're going to have to face it. You're going to have to cut this person out of your life that is holding you back from success. That's all there is to it. You know who I'm talking about. Could be a man or a woman. Because we have this man here now. Man or a woman. Love yourself. Love yourself. This is about love. You deserve it. You deserve to have emotional fulfillment in every area of your life. And if this person is not treating you with love... They don't need to be in your life. And you have so much love to offer, right? A minute ago I said, uh, why do you let them? <laughs> because of this? Because of love? You want to you wanna love them? You want to offer love? But, 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 if they don't love you, if they don't love you, if they are not emotionally available to you, then you're going to have to use that sword. Because you deserve it. You deserve to be with the circle, the people that love you. So anyway, Sagittarius, it looks as though you are going through a transformation and you have a new beginning here with people that support you and it's going to lead to extreme success i mean you gotta look at what's mirroring each other you extreme success victory you're about to start a new phase of life where you're on top seriously you're no longer on the bottom but there's something you need to do use that sword of truth and power and communication to, to remove whoever it is in your life that is not emotionally fulfilling you and, and pushing you towards success. You're dealing with somebody who is uh, stealing your energy and they're holding you back. They're making it harder for you to climb that ladder. You climb up, they pull you down. They climb up, you climb up, they pull you down. Remove them so they can't pull you down anymore. And you will climb up that ladder even faster. So anyway, Sagittarius, you absolutely positively have a very, very good 
new beginning here that's going that you are headed towards a lot of happiness the struggle that you have been through is just about over and it's because you found the strength to take the lead congratulations your strength your perseverance your willpower your discipline is bringing you success and you do have support and I also see a mutual attraction between two people and you also have somebody here that is very jealous and they need to be cut out you could be even getting a gift of money from somebody or a raise you're gaining respect probably from your co-workers or somebody Somebody sees all the work you're doing. There's, there is. There's, there's a couple people, okay? First of all, there's people that see that all the work that you're doing and they're proud of you. And then there's this one person who is jealous as hell. That jealous person needs to go. So... I feel like you're, it's going to be a painful, stressful decision to cut this person out because you probably love this person. doesn't mean you're not going to love them. It means that you're going to love yourself more. It's like this. I love you, but I love myself more. Remember that. Because you are headed towards success when you get to that point of the ultimate self-love. You will have everything that you want. So I feel like your struggle is just about over. You have one more step. And it's right in your hand. Let's get... I'm, I have to show you what's on the bottom. I'm sorry. You know, I've explained this before. These cards will often, you know, show all my decks, whatever. I just have to show you it because I know it's for you. Um, I just happened to pick this deck up, but I, I don't think I've used it since yesterday. I have to show you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It's the truth. It's the truth. Don't forget it. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to hear? They do have somebody that is romantically interested in them. And it's a mutual attraction. You know who this person is. You also have a jealous individual. You're moving up that ladder. I see success is coming. Um, keep going. Remove the, remove the uh, you know, that person that is very critical of you and doesn't want you to succeed. Cut communication with them. Oh, oh boy. Have you forgotten that quick? I hope not. This is what you deserve. Don't let this... I'm trying not to swear. You use your imagination. Hold you back. You deserve love. One more card. So you could be somebody, you could be receiving some emotional support from somebody, or there's a mutual attraction where there's some flirting going on, and it could lead to happiness. It could, but healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This could be a parent or a sibling or and somebody from your family that is holding you back. I think it is. I think it's a family member. And I, and when you, you know, it's hard. It's hard to use that sword. And I don't mean go, you know, hurt him physically. I'm talking about, you know, using your, standing up for yourself and saying, you know what? I love you. But we cannot be a part of each other's lives at this time. Because I love myself more. And if you don't love me and respect me and want to help me succeed if you can't be positive and be happy for me and and 
oh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. Mold me in the proper way, you know what I mean? If you can't support me instead of criticize me, then you don't need to be a part of my life. And it's funny because I just remembered this. I was thinking this morning about criticism. You don't need what you don't need criticism in your life. You really don't. You know what's wrong with you. Right? You don't need it. All it does is bring you down. And there'll be people that'll say, Oh yes, you do need criticism to to, you know, learn from it, to learn from it. You don't need it constantly. So anyway, there's been a lot of criticism here. It's not necessary. It might be necessary once in a while, but not constantly. You deserve love. And you're going to be successful. Keep going. Remove the drama from your life so that you can go up that ladder faster. Good luck.